This is an exercise that was created by Dr. Ed Chavon. Ed Chavon completely healed his heart muscle within a six month period of time from having a heart attack, an aneurysm, and a stroke, where on the EKG they found zero damage in the heart muscle. Other individuals have completely recovered from insomnias and other conditions like that. The point of the exercise is to shift the nervous system from parasympathetics into sympathetics. If you want to get a broader detail of what this exercise does for the body, please go on to amazon.com and look for the book by Dr. Ed Chavon. The book is called I Am Loving Myself Healthy and it is $9.99 or less. It comes in the form of an ebook and it allows you to replay the video as well as understand exactly why it's so important to stimulate the vagus nerve. What we want you to do is we want you to do this exercise for one minute at a time. When you're beginning, we want you to do it every three hours. And as the longer you do it, the more the nervous system will actually entrain to a higher tone. What it does is it shifts the nervous system from the sympathetic state, which is the fight or flight state, which most of us are stuck in, back into parasympathetics. And the transformation that people get as far as healing, recovering from heart issues, digestive issues, sleep issues, and everything above and beyond is completely unbelievable. So it's the easiest exercise in the world. It only takes one minute to do. You can do it at work, in the bathroom. I've done it in parking lots. I've even done it in line at the bank. So what you wanna do is you want to first set yourself up so that your calves can have a little bit of a stretch in them. So notice that I've got these fancy little yoga blocks. If you don't have the yoga blocks, you can just stick shoes underneath your feet or you can even use the edge of a big book, you know, like an old school telephone book. So I'm gonna do it on the book because that's what's probably accessible for most of you. So you put your bottom of your feet on top of the book so I feel a stretch right now in my calves. Then I bend my knees forward and notice how I'm not trying to sit straight upright, I'm bending my back forward. And then I'm stretching my neck up so I'm looking to the ceiling, taking my shoulders back, my elbows back, and my hands back. Then what you wanna do is you wanna do a Kegel. What a Kegel is, is it's taking your perennial muscle, which is the, the core of your body there. Uh, for a female, it would be like squeezing your vagina shut. For a male, it's actually trying to like lift that area that's right in between the, um, the scrotal sac and the anus. So you're actually using the internal muscles to lift that area. So once again, calves are stretched, backs leaning forward, shoulders back, arms back, head up to the sky. I do my Kegel, which is squeezing that perennial muscle. And then I start flapping my little wings. This is called the hummingbird exercise. And then you want to stimulate the vagus nerve. So you go nyuck, 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 nyuck. Keep doing the Kegel, nyuck, 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 nyuck 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 the reason we say the silly word nyuck is because it's taking the tongue and pushing it up against the soft palate so we're actually stimulating with the kegel the bottom and with the nyuck the top of the vagus nerve the vagus nerve completely controls whether the nervous system is in fight or flight or parasympathetic also when we go into fight or flight our whole body goes forward so we're stimulating that expansion and the release what you want to do is you want to do that for one minute every three hours for at least the first three months of doing the exercise. Then you can move to one, two, or three times a day to keep the system stimulated into parasympathetics.